color has the remarkable ability to not only alter the appearance of a room, but also the emotions you feel when you step inside. That is why it is so important to think about the mood and feeling you want to evoke in your bedroom. But with an endless array of options to choose from, it can be difficult to pick what is best for your room. Whether you're drawn to the cozy allure of dark and moody hues, or the invigorating vibrancy of energetic colors, here are 12 color scheme ideas categorized by ambiance to inspire your next bedroom transformation. If you want a cozy and secure ambiance in your bedroom, a darker color palette may be the perfect choice. Warm undertones in shades like deep blues, rich browns, and charcoal grays offer a comforting sense of enclosure, reminiscent of being enveloped in a soft, warm blanket. These hues not only foster intimacy and coziness, but also create a sense of security and privacy, thanks to their associations with sophistication and depth. What I particularly like about dark and moody schemes is that they make light sources pop in a way that lighter palettes can't match. This striking contrast turns even the smallest pockets of light into captivating focal points, beautifully offsetting the darker tones and intensifying the room's overall coziness. Painting your bedroom walls an off-black color such as a dark slate or charcoal is one way to achieve this look. Always go for something that is softer than pure black as it is not forgiving and can end up looking quite flat. An idea is to go for a fully monochromatic look like this bedroom where they have used moody off-black hues and created interest through exploring different textures like velvet in the headboard. These designers have also added lots of cozy texture with this soft black grass cloth wallpaper, which helps avoid it from looking too flat. You don't have to be confined to incorporating blacks in solid chunks. This bedroom is also quite atmospheric with the floral wallpaper that has a charcoal black background and a four poster bed in a similar charcoal tone. My one tip if you're going to go for a very dark shade like black is to paint your ceiling white to still create a sense of openness. Totally black rooms can feel very close in and almost claustrophobic, and adding mid-tone flooring or crisp white bedding can help soften the space and a nice contrast to the blacks. It is also a great idea to introduce patterns like the pinstripe headboard in this room and the floral and stripe accent pillow topped with the Moroccan throw in this bedroom. Combine this with lighter shade accessories that contrast nicely with the dark backdrop and you've got yourself a beautifully styled bedroom. At the end of the day, if you want to go with off-black, make sure your bedroom gets a decent amount of natural light. It is not a good color choice for really dark or small spaces. Brown is currently having a resurgence and it's another way to achieve that moody and cozy feel. It is much softer and more natural than black interiors and I find that this space can feel a lot more comforting. Again, as it is a dark color, I'll suggest balancing it with lighter tones to create a nice contrast. It was done quite well in this space with the grey bed and caramel bedding, which ties in nicely with the mocha walls. If you want something more cocooning, you can leave the ceiling, walls, and floors all the same color, which is easy to do if you have a timber paneled space. If you go for the stained wood look, try to continue it through your furniture like the bedside table in this case. This is also a great color scheme if you're a fan of modernism or mid-century modern interiors. They look especially great with colorful accents and warm lighting. Deep, dark blues or navy are another way to create a moody scheme without the intensity of off-black. I find that these interiors are really soothing which can help you wind down and get ready for bed. You probably notice in the final example from the rich brown part that the designer paired blue and brown together, and it's been done again in this interior. Blue and brown is quite a common color pairing as they're the complete opposite in temperature, which you can see is done really well in this bedroom by YSG. Adding timber to a blue backdrop is an easy way to elevate the room. Brass accents also contrast nicely with deep dark blue as you can see in this Swedish apartment. Alternatively, you can also opt for a monochromatic look blue. If this is your thing, just remember to incorporate lots of different blue shades and use varying textures to add some visual interest. Some people also opt for glossier finish like a satin or semi-gloss when it comes to dark paint. I personally prefer an eggshell finish for the bedroom, but it is an option if you prefer glossier finish. All in all, these darker schemes are emotionally grounding and elegantly secure, which makes them perfect for the bedroom. On the other hand, if a soothing and calming ambience is what you're after, Consider opting for colors that gently sit in the background of your bedroom. Gentle tones like sky blues, pale greens, and other pastel shades create tranquil and serene ambience, perfect for spaces where you want to relax and de-stress. These colors are associated with elements of nature that are calming like the sky, water, and foliage, which further foster feelings of calmness and relaxation. 
There's something very calming about pale blue, which is why many people are experimenting with this shade with the color drenching trend. In this room, they've painted all their walls and ceiling in a very faint blue to give the space a very fresh and calming feel. As it is so pale, it acts almost like a neutral, making it a fantastic backdrop for all the mid and dark tone blue accents. Similarly, in this bedroom, They've used a pale blue for the walls for a light and airy feel, and injected style through inky teal accents on the headboard, cupboards, and pillows. You don't have to stick to the traditional only blue scheme, but can also make your space feel more contemporary with bolder pairings like orange or deep pinks. Orange is opposite blue on the color wheel, so it works well as an accent color for a complementary scheme. If you want to learn more about all the different color schemes, such as analogous, compound, and split complementary, you should check out my video on how to use color in your home, which is linked in the description box below. If you're looking to add an unexpected twist to your bedroom, choosing green over pale blue is a surprisingly fresh option. Not only is it much more unexpected, but it also has that renewing and relaxing feel. There are so many shades you can go for from a delicate pastel to a much earthier khaki green. If you want a scheme that is a midway point between moody and calming, I'll go for an earthier green like these bedrooms. You can paint the ceiling white with a darker shade so the space feels airier and continue these lighter tones through the bedspread. Or you can drench them in a toned down green. You can also see that both rooms have brought in other earthy hues such as timber accents and a brown rug to enhance the natural ambience. This is a no-fail combination as it is the exact color palette found in the forest. Alternatively, if you want something more subtle, Use a very pale green on your walls and bring in layers of green through your decor, like how they've done in this room with the bright green bedside table, vibrant green water jug, and a mid-tone greens in the tapestry. They've also added in a soft pink blanket as pink and green pair well together. They're opposite each other on the color wheel, so makes a complementary scheme. On the topic of pink, Blush tones are very soothing and don't just have to be used in kids' bedrooms or nurseries. Shades that are dusty with slight brown undertones can be suitable for adults. Just avoid anything too sugary. As this color is so light, you have to ground your room with some darker accents, like this bedroom that has used a dark painting and a plum-colored bedside table and matching cushions. Or these two bedrooms in two very different styles, both with darker accents like deep reds, blacks, and navy blues. You can also see in this bedroom where the designer has incorporated darker accents in the headboard and cushions and repeated the blush tones through the bedspread. It is just as important to incorporate crisp whites for contrast, which you've probably noticed in the ceilings, trims, curtains, cushions, and bedding choices in the last two rooms. A slight variation to blush and blue room would be a lilac or lavender room. Similar to pale blue, these tones can create the illusion of spaciousness due to their receding qualities, but they also introduce a warm and cozy feel thanks to their underlying red tones. These colors were really popular in the 90s, potentially even overdone, but they're experiencing a slight revival, so expect to see more of this color. To avoid it feeling dated, choose something that has gray in it. While lilac is pale, it is quite a bold choice, so it is not a bad idea to use it as an accent like this bedroom where they have color blocked the bottom half of the wall. My final mention for this category is light gray if you want a more neutral base for your bedroom. Gray can be split into three main categories, ones with blue undertones, ones with green undertones, and ones with violet undertones. You need to pay attention to this undertone to make sure that it doesn't clash with your existing finishes. There's also a subcategory from gray, which is grayish, a combination of gray and beige. It is so easy on the eye and one of the most practical color choices around. This is perfect if you prefer a softer and more subdued palette that feels contemporary and harmonious, but with an added warmth. You can't talk about bedroom color schemes without mentioning white. It is the most versatile backdrop out there. White comes in so many different variations, from warmer tones that are closer to beige to cool tones that are closer to gray. Some people may think that painting a bedroom in white is boring, but I think it actually makes for a perfect backdrop to whatever you want to do with it. This bedroom is a perfect example that a white bedroom does not have to be boring. There's enough color, texture, and contrast throughout the room to make it interesting without feeling busy. You can use white with toned down colors and patterns in your fabric to make it interesting, or play around with your furnishings and decor and make them shine instead of the color or patterns on your wall. It is also perfect if you live in a cabin or cabin style home, or install wooden slats on your walls as the walls provide you with enough visual interest on its own. You can also use the white backdrop as a canvas 
and add in pops of color like these bedrooms in varying degrees of vibrancy. Or perhaps keep it simple and let whatever nature color is outside your window to lend a vibrant color to your room. For a vibrant and energizing color scheme, consider hues from the warmer side of the spectrum, such as deep red, salmon, and peach. These colors bring a lively energy without being overly intense. While ultra bright colors are energizing, it is important to strike a balance in a bedroom as overstimulation can be counterproductive to relaxation. That is why I'll avoid bright red or yellow. Softer and more subdued variations of these warm tones can still offer an energizing ambience while maintaining a sense of calm and comfort for your room. A deep red bedroom is perfect if you're looking for something that is dark and moody, but also energizing. I think it was done really well in these bedrooms as they've actually used a reddish brown on the walls that gives it a sophisticated and moody feeling. A bit more to the brown spectrum, like in this bedroom, also works really well styled with various terracotta tones. If painting walls in red is too much for you, you can also add in deep reds in large accents like your headboard, pillow, and bedside table like in these bedrooms. A much more vibrant option is to go with peach, but also suggest only using it in small quantities such as the accent wall like this bedroom. A more muted peach could also work on all bedroom walls like this room, but you may want to balance it out with a white ceiling. Finally, there's salmon, which is an even brighter version of peach. I'll definitely only do this color in very small amounts like an accent wall or even just on doors and trims like this bedroom, as it can be quite overwhelming. It is definitely a very vibrant and energizing color. Based on the earlier parts of this video, it is clear that the first thing you need to do is to think about how you want your bedroom to feel. Personally, I prefer a bedroom that is relaxing, but others prefer a more energizing feel to get them started for the day. Luckily, there are already quite a few color choices you can rule out as they are way too stimulating. Next, you have to carefully consider existing finishes. This most likely is your flooring, unless you plan to change it. Then, I often find it easier to start with a bedding, headboard, or artwork that you like, rather than choosing from thousands of paint colors. If you're going to change it, make sure the new flooring works with your chosen paint color. Get peel and sticks made from real paint from places like Samplies, or some paint brands like Sherwin-Williams also offer them. This is much better than using a paint chip that is printed with ink, as they look different from the real paint color. If you're planning to use wallpaper, then order a sample before committing to it. The last thing to consider is the amount of natural light and the orientation of the room. There's a huge misconception that you should paint a dark room white, but if you talk to any experienced designer, they'll all say the same thing. Do not paint a dark room in a crisp or clean white and expect it to magically become bright without lighting. White paint thrives in really bright rooms, but without all the light bouncing around, nothing happens and it will just feel flat. As for orientation, the general rule is that northern exposure adds blue to a color, while southern adds yellow-white. If you live in the southern hemisphere like myself, north and south are reversed. East-facing rooms get an abundance of bright light in the morning that becomes more muted in the evening, while west-facing rooms get warm golden rays in the evening. This is why testing paint throughout the day, and if possible, in different weather conditions is crucial, as they can look completely different depending on how the natural light changes. As for creating harmony with the rest of your home, there are two ways you can go about it. Either pull a color from the palette of the other rooms, this can be from decor or accessories, or you can make the color scheme of your bedroom a complete surprise, so long as the bedroom is not part of an open plan space like how it would be in a studio apartment. When choosing between wallpaper and paint, the two things you need to consider is cost and longevity. If you didn't plan to commit to it, or on limited budget, then you can rule out wallpaper as they're usually more expensive, and the cost benefit is only realized in the long term. If there may be a chance you might want to move in a few years, then paint may also be the better choice. I hope that you have learned a lot more about bedroom color schemes and can now choose one with more confidence. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this video on bedroom design mistakes. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.